Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'd ask you to please be seated. We are now ready to begin the investiture of the 2017 recipients of the Order of the Northwest Territories. My name is Tim Mercer. I'm the Clerk of the Legislative Assembly of the Northwest Territories and the Secretary to the Honors Advisory Council. And I will serve as the Master of Ceremonies for today's ceremony. It's in the gallery of two of our former commissioners, uh, former Commissioner uh, Tony Whitford and former Commissioner George Tuckeroo, both of, which, both of whom are order, members of the Order of the Northwest Territories. So welcome to you both. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize the presence on the floor of the chamber with the, with the cameras, former a member of the Legislative Assembly, Mr. Bill Braden. Welcome. <laughs> at this point, I'll ask our Sergeant at Arms to escort the Honorable Gerald W. Kassoon, Deputy Commissioner of the Northwest Territories and Chancellor of the Order of the Northwest Territories, into the chamber. Please, re please rise and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem and the recital of the prayer. Sanasanta I am not saying has a sense of nothing. Amen. Please be seated. Mr. Commissioner, members, members of the Order of the Northwest Territories, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the induction ceremony for the 2017 uh, Order of the Northwest Territories inductees. Before we begin, I will call upon Speaker Jackson Lafferty to say a few words about the members of the NWT Honours Advisory Council. Speaker Lafferty. Mr. Clerk, 
I'd like to thank everyone for being here with us here today to witness this special event. The NWT Advisors Council is a nonpartisan committee appointed by the Legislative Assembly to review nominations to the order of NWT and to submit a list of respectable recipients to the Chancellor. So we are pleased to have such a high caliber of individuals here to conduct this task. These are people who, in their own right, are deserving the highest honor. Your, your advisor council members are Chair and former Speaker, Mr. Paul DeLore, Ms. Ms. Grace Blake, Sabrina Broadhead, Danny Cadet, and Ann Peters. So I'd just like to say, Masi Cho for being part of the team and the decision makers. Masi. The Order of the Northwest Territories was established in 2013 by the Territorial Emblems and Honors Act to recognize individuals who have served with the greatest distinction and excelled in any field of endeavor benefiting the people of the Northwest Territories or elsewhere. It is the highest honor awarded exclusively to residents and former residents of the Northwest Territories. All recipients will receive a medal, a pin, and letters patent signed by the Chancellor of the Order and stamped with the seal of the Northwest Territories. A member of the order is entitled to use the initials ONWT after his or her name, which signifies membership in the order. It is my honor today to preside over the investiture of the 2017 recipients. I will ask each recipient to remain seated until I call them to come forward. And we will begin with Mr. Paul Andrew. Mr. Paul Andrew is a resident of Yellow Knight and is nominated for his work in culture, residential school education, and healing. Mr. Andrew was taken to residential school when he was eight and spent his high school years there also. He returned to his home community of Toledo and became chief at the age of 22. After many years of chief, as chief, Paul began his 30-year career with CBC. His focus has been and still is on teaching about Denny language and culture, building relationships between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people, healing, reconciliation, and regaining pride for the elders and hope for the youth of the Northwest Territories. Mr. Andrew has received many awards, including the CBC Team Building Award, the NWT Literacy Award, and the National Aboriginal Achievement Award. He has served on many boards, such as the Denny Language Committee, the NWT Forum on Community Wellness and Addictions, the Aurora College Board of Governors, and is an Elders Advisor to Denny Naho. Over the past 40 years, he has contributed greatly to creating pride in Denny culture. Paul has been a cultural role model his entire life as a young chief, as a CBC reporter and host, and as a respected elder. Mr. Andrew, would you please come forward? Paul Andrew, Order of the Northwest Territories. Mr. Fred Carmichael. Mr. Carmichael is a resident of Anubik and is nominated for his work in business. Unfortunately, Mr. Carmichael was not able to join us today and he will be inducted at our 2018 ceremony. Mr. Russell King. Mr. Russell King is a resident of Hay River and is nominated for his work in business. Mr. King moved north in 1963 as a young man from Manitoba. He started work as a welder at Highways Division in Enterprise, moving to Hay River in 1965. For several years, he operated King's Service as a backyard mechanic in their home yard in Hay River. In 1968, he was approached by Ontario Lasso to operate the Hay River Esso Station. While continuing to operate the Esso Service Station, he approached Ford Canada and opened the Ford dealership in 1976. Kingland Ford became an industry-leading dealership, which was recognized many times for customer service and sales across Canada and the United States. Russell and his family saw an opportunity to grow their business and added an auto body repair shop, tire shop, tank manufacturing, heavy truck franchise, and mining services division. Mr. King, over the years, has contributed to many organizations and communities across the Northwest Territories and helped support local events and people. Russell's drive and loyalty to the North gave employment and economic opportunities to countless people. Mr. King, would you please come forward?
Mr. Russell Kane, Order of the Northwest Territories. Ms. Linda Cooey. Ms. Cooey is a resident of Yellow Knight and is nominated for her, for her work in professions and other occupations. With over 27 years of dedicated service, Ms. Cooey ensures the NWT seniors that reside at Havens feel that they are at home. She has created a level of care that is compassionate, respectful, and dignified. She strives to put the residents' needs first. Havens opened in 1987, with Linda heading up the long-term care facility in 1989. Her passion and professionalism earned her accreditation from the Accreditation Council of Canada. In March 2010, Havens expanded to include care for NWT residents with dementia. Ms. Cooey played a role in implementing specialized, played a key role in implementing specialized training for staff. Her personal care practices and standards put residents first. Family members are able to approach and work with Linda to ensure the needs of their loved ones are always being met. She is respected by all that work with her as an advocate for residents' social and medical needs. Linda has played a central role in building Havens as the community for seniors. Ms. Cooley, would you please come forward? Ms. Linda Cooey, ONWT. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Phillip. Mr. Phillip was born and raised in Fort Providence and is now a resident of Yellow Knife and is nominated for his work in science and technology. As a self-guided expert on renewable energy, Mr. Phillip is passionate about northern energy issues and dedicated to reducing public dependency on diesel fuel. Mr. Phillip expanded the family business, Snowshoe Inn, which has an off-grid heat and power plant that reduces energy costs by 50%. He then went on to build the North's premier broadband technology company, SSI Micro, which over the years has provided internet service to 56 communities across the NWT and Nunavut. Nunavut's SSI network, Kinnick, was recognized as Business of the Year in 2006. Up Here Business Magazine honored Mr. Phillip as Entrepreneur of the Year in 2010 and named SSI Micro the top northern business in both 2010 and 2011. Over the years, Mr. Phillip and his company have contributed generously to various causes, events, and charities, including the Children's Wish Foundation, Northern Youth Abroad, Kids Help Phone, NWT Disabilities Council, and many more. He is a strong advocate for consumer rights and has advocated for fair competition in the NWT telecommunications market for over 20 years. Mr. Phillip, would you please come forward? <laughs> Mr. Jeff Phillip, ONWT. Mr. Tom Zubko. Mr. Zubko is a resident of Inuvik and is nominated for his work in business. Mr. Zubko is a lifelong northerner and businessman who has dedicated his career to growing the political and economic base of the Northwest Territories. He spent his formative years in aviation until his interest in technology led him to build an impressive and diversified telecommunications business. The Inuvik satellite facilities have attracted international attention. Today, the sites host space operators from across the globe, including from Sweden, Germany, Norway, France, Spain, Japan, and the United States. Tom has developed close personal relationships with his international client base and continues to travel extensively to learn further and, and further promote the NWT and Anubik. During the McKenzie Gas Project hearings, Mr. Zubko was co-editor of Permafrost Media, a daily online blog which reported on the daily proceedings to bring this project to fruition. He has demonstrated innovative thinking and has introduced opportunities and stature to the North. 
He is active in the community and has served for many years on town council as both mayor and councilor. Mr. Zuko is a strong supporter of political development and views the relationship between the town of Anubik, the Anubialoc Regional Corporation, and the Gwich'in Tribal Council as the region's greatest strength. Mr. Zuko, would you please come forward? Tom Zubko, ONWT. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Respected elders, distinguished guests, friends and colleagues, it is my pleasure to be here with you today and witness this honor awarded to such outstanding individuals. I congratulate each and every one of you and look forward to seeing the work you continue to do to benefit our communities and the people of the Northwest Territories. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci cho. Kuinaini. Kwana. Aicho. Thank you, Your Honor. This marks the end of today's investiture ceremony. After this year, the Territorial Emblems and Honors Act allows three inductees annually, and the next call for nominations will open in the fall. I would encourage all of you watching in the gallery today and at home to consider making a nomination to this prestigious award. Uh, you, can, you can find the award uh, papers on the Legislative Assembly's website at www.assembly.gov.nt.ca, where you'll find more information about the order and the nomination forms. I will now ask you all to please rise for the departure of the Deputy Commissioner. I'd like to ask the recipients of the order that were just inducted to please remain in the chamber for official photographs. And to all of those of you watching in the gallery, we will have a brief reception in the Great Hall. We are concluded. Thank you.